This is Bridge with Stephen from the Lake Chapala Duplicate Bridge Club. Today we're going to be discussing minor suit opening bids and uh, the responses, and then uh, opener's first read bid. These, we're talking about one level of minor suit opening bids, one club and one diamond. We're not talking about this strong two club opening bid or the weak two diamond opening bid. So we're talking about 12 to 21 point hands that are unsuitable for an opening bid of one heart, one spade, one no trump, or two no trump. These hands would require five card majors, and these hands would require uh, balanced hands with specific point ranges, usually 15 to 17 to 20 to 21. When we have a hand that's appropriate to open with one of these bids, we do so. But when we don't have that kind of hand, but we still have the 12 to 21 points, we open in a minor. This sort of indicates to us that minors are really third class citizens after major suits and no trump. And that's a result of the uh, way that Bridge is scored. Uh, we generally um, can make an extra trick if we're playing in a trump suit, uh, compared to if we're playing a no trump, assuming that both options are possible. So for example, if we have an eight card spade fit, we have an eight card club fit, and uh, we have um, uh, the other two suits uh, stopped, and we have the option of either playing in some number of spades, some number of clubs, or some number of no trump. If we assume that the uh, spades and clubs contracts will make one more trick than the no trump, then we find we get the best payoff for the spade contract, let's say two spades making two, as opposed to one no trump making one, or as opposed to two clubs making two. So that's why we're always looking for the major suit fit when possible. When we don't have a major suit fit of eight cards or more, we settle for no trump when that's possible, and only when it's not possible to do either do we um, uh, settle for a minor suit part score or game or slam. Okay, let's talk about um, the idea of the convenient minor versus the short club. Now this, these two terms um, refer, they only differ from one another with this shaped hand, specifically four spades, four hearts, three diamonds, and two clubs. What the people who play short club um, are doing that is different is, they, just as they won't open a four card major, they won't open a three card diamond suit. They want to have four diamonds if they open one diamond. So um, when they have this shaped hand, they can't open a spade, they can't open a heart, they can't open um, a diamond, they have to open a club, and they may be as short as two. But if we play what's called the convenient minor, when we have this hand, we open it a diamond. Um, and we don't mind the fact that um, it will be a three card suit some percentage of the time. And we'll talk about that in a moment, what percentage of time that is. So, assuming that we can't um, open a heart, a spade, a no trump, or two no trump, we're going to open a minor. Which minor do we open? Well, when they're not the same length, we open the longer one. We're going to see there's an exception to that. But here we have um, four, four, two, three shape. So, with three clubs and two uh, diamonds, we don't have a five card major to open a heart or a spade. We don't have enough high card points to open a no trump. So, we're going to be opening a minor, we're going to be opening one club by default. Um, on the other hand, when our shape looks more like this, we're going to be opening the diamond because it's longer than the club. Now here's the exception, what I'm calling the, the problem hand. When you have a shape like this, for example, 2-2, two, two, or this could be 3-1, uh, but we have four diamonds and five clubs. The problem with opening this hand with the longer minor is if you open in clubs and then have to read the diamonds, you've done what's called reversed. And uh, that generally shows a, at least an ace better than a minimum opening hand. And if your hand isn't good enough to reverse, you should not open this hand one club. Uh, most people have settled on opening it one diamond and then rebidding clubs. So we must be sensitive to the fact that when opener bids a diamond and then rebids clubs, may have longer clubs than diamonds. That's, that's possible. Now, if the two minors are equal in length, when they're both three card suits, we bid one club. But when they're four, four, or five, five, we, we uh, bid the diamonds first. We open one diamond instead. So here would be an example of a hand where the minors are three, three, and we would open this hand one club. But here, where we're four, four, we would open a diamond. And here, where we're five, five, we would open a diamond again. Okay? So, if we bid this way, and what I've described here is the convenient minor, I'm ignoring the short club and the requirement for four diamonds um, to open one diamond, I'm allowing um, an opening bid of one diamond with three. If we bid this way, when we open one club, we will have a four plus club suit 84% of the time, or five times out of six. Now, is that good enough to raise partners and clubs with just four? Most people think no. Um, if your if partner opens in clubs and you want to raise clubs, you probably should have five because partner um, is one chance out of six going to only have three clubs. On the other hand, 
Um, the only the only hand that is open one diamond with a three card diamond suit. All other um, one diamond opening bids have at least a four card diamond suit. Is once again this hand. And of all the opening bids that are of one diamond following this um, menu, 24 out of 25 will have a, a four card or longer diamond suit. That's 96 percent. So you're on much more comfortable ground raising one diamond with only four. Sure, you'll find a three card diamond suit now and again, but only once out of 25 times. Now, having discussed um, how to open one club or one diamond, let's talk about resp responders menu. And it's prioritized. What that means is um, that we do these things in this order. Um, if we can do, if we must do this, we do this. If we can do this, we do this. If we can do this, we do this. Um, if we can do either of these, we do this one. That's what I mean by prioritize. They come in order of our preference. Now, pass with zero to five points. I'm going to make a comment about that. That's not always no, strictly true. Um, if partner opens a club and you've got a singleton club and four diamonds, four hearts, and four spades, and maybe only about three or four points, you might consider bidding a diamond and passing whatever partner's rebid is. If partner rebids a heart, you pass that. If partner rebids a spade, you pass that. If partner rebids a no trump, you pass that. Um, but in general, we, we don't um, bid unless we have six points. Okay, now we're going to see this um, same order of major is prioritized over no trump, which is prioritized over minors. When we can bid a four card major, um, because we have at least six points, uh, we do that. That's our first choice whenever that's an option. If we have both majors, we bid the longer major. So, for example, with this hand, if partners open a club or a diamond, we're going to bid one spade. Um, if we get a second bid, we'll bid two hearts. And in that way, partner will know um, that we were 5-4. Because when we're 4-4, four, four, we bid up the line. So when we're 4-4 four, four like this, if partner opens a club or a diamond, we'll bid the hearts first. And uh, if partner wants to bid spades, then we'll be happy to raise that. However, if we're 5-5 five, five in the majors, we bid the spades first. It's the opposite order. So remember, 4-4, four, four, we go up the line. But if we're 5-5, five, five, we bid the spades first, and then we we, we bid the hearts second, and if we have a chance, we rebid the hearts. And in that way, we show at least five spades and at least five hearts. So this would be such a hand. Partners open one of a minor, we're going to bid spades first, then we're going to bid hearts, and if it comes up again, we're going to bid hearts a second time to show this shape. Now, if we don't have a four card major, like all of these three hands, we consider a no trump call. With about six to ten, it'll be one no trump, so one club, one no trump. With 11 and 12, we'll bid two no trump, and with 13 or more, we'll bid three no trump. These hands are getting progressively stronger. This one has seven, nine high card points, so after one club or one diamond, you're going to um, call one no trump. Uh, but this hand has, is a queen stronger, so um, the call would be two no trump. And uh, this hand here is an ace stronger than that one, so after one club or one diamond, the call would be three no trump. Notice that a no trump call after a uh, minor suit opening bid denies a four card major, because if we had had a four card major, we wouldn't have gotten past this point on the list. Okay, now if, if we can't bid a four card major or we can't bid no trump, um, those don't seem appropriate to us, we have a few other options. Number one, we can raise partners minor. Um, with about six to ten points, we make a minimal raise or a simple raise, such as one club, two clubs. Remember I said we need five, or we, should, we really ought to have five to raise clubs. Um, whereas with 11 to 12 points, we can make a limit raise, one diamond, three diamonds. Here, um, we prefer five, but we will settle for four. And I'll just make a point here, because a lot of people um, watching now are aware of a, a convention called inverted minors. What a lot of people do is reverse these two, so that the, um, the uh, weaker hand gets uh, the one diamond, three diamond call. It's, it's a sort of weaker and preemptive, whereas the um, simple raise, one club, two club, shows a better hand. And the reason for doing that is um, when you have a better hand, maybe 10 or more points as a responder, partners open, you want to explore for the possibility of a no-trump contract. Like I said, minor suit contracts are, are third-class citizens, so if we have a uh, situation where we can raise partners uh, um, minor suit and we showing at least a limit raise or better, then the partnership can, can start showing one another stoppers and see whether no-trump is feasible or whether they're forced to play in their minor. And another possibility, the last possibility, is bid the other minor. So um, again, minors are last, that's why they're both on the bottom. Here we've raised partners minor, here we're not. We're bidding the other minor. One diamond, um, 
if you say two clubs after partners of one diamond opening bid, you ought to have, if you're playing two over one game force, and this is a game forcing auction, you should actually have a better hand than this, but if you're just playing standard American, um, what you need is about 11 points and a five card suit generally. On the other hand, when the bidding goes one uh, club, one diamond, we need much less. A four card suit is enough and so is six points. Okay, now here's one problem hand I want to discuss with you. You're a responder, partners open in a minor. Let's say partners open one club. Partner has to have open club. And you have a, a longer diamond suit, but a four card major. What's your response going to be after one club? Is it going to be one diamond or is it going to be um, something else? Well, here's the problem. If you bid one diamond with this weaker hand, and it's got three, five, six, seven high card points, if you bid one diamond with this weaker hand, one club, pass, one diamond, and left hand opponent bids one spade, you may fail to find a 4-4 hard fit. Um, so when your hand is weak and you're only expecting to make one call, bid the major. So with this weaker hand, the bidding should go one club, pass, one heart. On the other hand, with increased strength, where you're willing to come in and make another call, um, go ahead and show them your actual shape and bid the diamonds first. So with this um, much better hand after one club, my response is going to be one diamond and uh, hopefully partner a little bit of heart. If not, um, no problem. I'm not worried about um, left hand opponent shutting us out um, with a spade over call to my left. All right, um, let's look at opener's um, first rebid, prioritized. So opener's bid a minor suit, one club, one diamond, and uh, responder has made one of these calls. Here's what we do. If partner has bid a four card major, and we have four of them of our own, we raise partner's major. If we have a minimum one level opening bid, uh, we make a simple raise. So one diamond, one spade, two spades. With an intermediate strength one level opening bid, we make a jump raise. So now the option might go something like um, one club, one heart, three hearts. And with the uh, maximal one level opening bid, we just bid game. One club, one spade, four spades. And I should mention that um, if you happen to have shortness in your hand, you might consider making a splinter bid instead. So with a singleton diamond or diamond void, that same option might go one club, one spade, four diamonds. Uh, but in, in either case, we're forcing the game and we're showing support for partner spades. Now, sometimes the first rebid could be one heart or one spade. We, we have a four card major of our own. And let's say we've opened the bidding one club, partner's bid a diamond. Uh, we can now bid a heart with a four card heart suit or a spade if we didn't have that, if we had a four-card spade suit instead. Or has had the bidding on one diamond uh, from us and one heart from, from partner, if we don't have four-card heart support, we can now show a four-card spade suit. It should be noted that these auctions, while not forcing, neither of these bids is forcing, um, these hands can be as strong as about 18 points. Uh, with, with a better hand, 19 points um, uh, opener will jump shift. So the bidding with 19 or more points will get one club, one diamond, two hearts but with um, 12 to 18, it's gonna look like this. Which is why we always try to scrape up a response um, to these calls when, um, when possible. We really have to have a rock bottom minimum to wanna to pass that, because we, we may actually have a game. Okay, now if we can't bid a major, we can't raise partners major or bid a new major of our own, we're gonna bid no trump if balanced. Now when we're 12 to 14 points, we rebid one no trump. So one club, one heart, one no trump. And with 18 and 19, we jump in no trump. One diamond, one spade, two no trump. What happened to 15 and 17? Well, if you had a balance 15 and 17, you didn't open a minor, you opened one no trump. And what happened to 20 to 21? Same thing. If you had a balance 20 to 21, you didn't open one of a minor, you opened two no trumps. Okay, so if we can't bid a major, and if we um, aren't right for no trump, we can bid a minor. And here are some of the options. One is um, raise partners minor. You've opened a club, partner's bid a diamond, maybe you have um, a diamond support, and so you raise the two diamonds, that's one option. Um, or you might have a six card minor of your own and want to rebid it with a, week, a minimal opening bid. The bidding would go something like one diamond, one spade, two diamonds. With an intermediate strength opening bid, we make a jump rebid. One diamond, one spade, three diamonds. Or we can bid the um, unbid minor. So I open a diamond, partner uh, responds to heart, um, if I don't have support for the hearts and no trump doesn't look right, I might bid two clubs. But I would emphasize to you once again, when the bidding goes one diamond, two clubs, and it's one particular auction, be sensitive to the possibility that partner has um, four diamonds and five clubs, and not five, four. Okay, um, and then finally, um, uh, opener can uh, pass. 
if a responder has made a non-forcing response, that is if opener has a minimum. So for example, if a, a responder has responded in a no trump at any level, one dime to one no trump, you can pass. One dime to two no trump, you can pass. Um, if, uh, if partner has raised your minor, uh, you've opened a club and partner's bid two clubs or three clubs, that's not a forcing bid, you can pass that as well. If responder is a past tense, both uh, responders already passed, you in third or fourth seed open a diamond, uh, now partner bids a spade, that's a hand you can pass if you, if you open with a minimum. And finally, if, uh, um, if you play the jump, jump shifts are weak, I've opened a diamond and partner's bid two spades, I can pass that hand. In fact, I probably should. Okay, now we're going to try to reinforce some of these um, points that we just uh, went over with the quiz. These are all, um, the question is always, what do we open with each of these? All right, let's look at them one at a time. We've got 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have a minimum opening bid. We can't open a harder spade. We don't have the strength to open no trumps, so we're going to open them in a minor. And which one? The longer one. So we're going to open one club with this hand. With this hand, we have 2, 6, 8, 12, 14 high card points. Once again, not quite enough for a one no trump opening bid, so, uh, and we don't have a five card major, so we're going to open a minor. Once again, the longest minor, the longer minor. This time it's going to be one diamond. With this hand, we have 7, 9, 9 and 7 is uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 points. This hand is too strong for a one no trump opening bid, not strong enough for a two no trump opening bid, so we're going to open. Um, a, in a minor because we don't have a five card major and the minor will be the longer minor but in this case they're equal in length and we said when they're equal in length and both suits are three cards we're going to open a club okay with this hand two three six seven and seven is fourteen um, we're going to open we can't open in a major we can't open no trump we're going to open in a minor um, we don't have a longer minor but when we're four four we're going to open one diamond this hand, 4, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 high card points. Um, we're going to open uh, this in a minor, and it's going to be um, the uh, five card diamond suit because we're equal in length. And as we said earlier, when we're either 4 4 or 5 4, we open in the diamonds, but when we're 3 3, we open in the clubs. Now, this, this hand's a little bit of a trick question. Um, if, you, if you look at it too quickly, um, you'll probably want to open one club. But that would be a mistake because this hand has 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 points. This is a bound 16 points. You're going to want to open this one, one no trump, not one club. This hand's kind of interesting. Um, we're going to, uh, we've got five spades and seven diamonds. Uh, we're going to open that um, one diamond. And then we're going to bid spades next and rebid spades. Now, some people would disagree with that and would open a spade anyway, but I think um, most. Most bridge players will open a seven card minor or a six card minor before a five card major. And then finally with a hand like this, this is another one where you might be too careless. You might say, well, I don't have a five card major. Um, I have to open a diamond, but you didn't count the hand. This is nine high card points here, 13 and seven is 23. This is a strong two club opening bit. You don't open this one um, at the one level. Okay, now how are we gonna to respond to partners one club opening bit? We're assuming no interference. Well, these are the hands we were just talking about before. Um, this hand is weak. If you open one diamond, and like I said, you get a, a one spade over ball on your left, you and your partner may f uh, fail to find a 4-4 hard fit. So a lot of experienced players recommend responding one heart when, when the hand is this weak. On the other hand, this hand is, is different in two ways. It's stronger and the major is spades. So we're not really quite as worried about an overcall on our left in, in spades that uh, or, or in any suit to keep us from finding a 4-4 four, four spade fit. So with a hand like this, the response to one club is probably going to be one diamond. And then the partner has uh, four hearts, he'll bid four spades, he'll give the up spades. Okay, now what do we do after partner's one diamond opening bid with these hands? Um, I think the most important message from this whole discussion is you do not bypass a four card major when you have one, okay? Don't, don't raise the diamonds. Um, don't bid no trump. You want to show your spade, so your response is one spade. If you don't bid four card majors, and you and your partner have a four four uh, major suit fit, you just simply won't find it. You have to bid the four card major. Now here, this one's a little different. We have a four card major, but we have both of them. So which one do we bid? Well, when they're of unequal length, we bid the longer one, but these two are equal. 
And we said when they're four, four, we dead up the line. So after one diamond, the response is one heart. But with this hand, again, we have both majors, but they're not equal. We have a five card spade suit and a four card heart suit. So after one diamond, we're gonna bid one spade. And if we get a chance, then we're gonna bid a heart the next time. And the fact that we bid spades first followed by hearts means that we have at least five spades and at least four hearts. We may have more of, of both. It may be five, five, we may be six, five, six, four. Okay, now here we are with both majors again. We're five, five. And again, when we're five, five, we're gonna bid the spades first. We're only going up the line when we're four, four. When we're five, five, we're bidding the spades. We're gonna bid, next bid the hearts. And if we get a chance, we're gonna rebid the hearts to show that this was a five card suit. Yet we bid spades first. So we're guaranteeing at least five, five shape in the majors. Now, after one diamond, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 high card points, you haven't got a, a major to bid which would have been your uh, highest priority. So now we consider no trump. Is this hand appropriate for no trump? Yes, it is. Um, so the bid would be after one club or one diamond, we would bid two no trump because we have the 11 and 12 point range. Um, with this hand, after a partner bids a diamond, uh, we're probably gonna raise diamonds. It's, uh, you, you might pass it because it's only, uh, um, it's only seven high card points, but I wouldn't. I think you should raise the diamonds. So the bidding would go one diamond, Two diamonds if you play the original uh, form, and if you play inverted, it would go one diamond, three diamonds. And with this hand, after partner bids a diamond, um, you're gonna bid two clubs. Uh, seven, eight, and six is 14 high card points. You don't have another call. You can't bid a major. You're not gonna raise the diamonds. You're not gonna pass. After one diamond, the correct call is two clubs. And that's whether you play two or one game force or not. Okay, that's it for today.